Hi, Zach Reiser here, and welcome back to another Base Effects Review video. Today I am getting into the Gemini 4 from Spaceman FX. The Gemini 4 is a reiteration of one of Zach's most sought-after fuzzes. It is a dual fuzz generator. It has a silicone and a germanium fuzz in there that you can blend together so you can use both at the same time, or you can use either by themselves. It's up to you. Let's jump right into it. This is my bass's dry tone, Dingwall ABZ six string on the neck pickup. The controls on the Gemini are very straightforward. We have a gain amount for both the silicone and the germanium side, and then we have a filter for both the germanium and the silicone side. And then in the middle, you have this blend knob, which allows you to choose how much of which side of the fuzz pedal you want coming into your signal. And the one other control is this phase toggle switch. Now it is an incredible incredibly cool sound you get when you go to the kind of negative phase, but for reasons I'll show later, it's not the most bass applicable part of the pedal, unfortunately. I want to show off the basic gain ranges of both sides of the fuzz, so I'm going to leave the filter at noon, which is essentially kind of like off. And now let's start with the lowest amount of gain on the silicone side. at about 10 o'clock. around one or two o'clock. And finally, both maxed.
All right, so hopefully you're getting an idea of kind of the general character of the fuzzes. To me, the silicone is a little bit more controlled and a little more kind of pulse width sounding, whereas the germanium has that kind of raw, compressed, splatty, very aggressive sounding fuzz. Also, I do find that the germanium has a little bit more mid range, whereas to me, the silicone has a little bit less mids, but a little bit more low end in there. But you can always kind of blend all these together, which we'll get into in a second to tailor your own sound. So the filter controls are essentially the same for both sides of the fuzz, but it is a rather unique filter control. It's not a high-end roll-off, as many of them are on most fuzzes. At noon, it's flat. As you roll it clockwise, you're rolling off high-end, kind of like a traditional tone knob. Um, but as you roll it counterclockwise, you're rolling out mid, so you get that classic kind of scooped sound. So let's show that with both fuzzes here. So starting with the silicone at noon. And now the germanium. Moving on to the blend knob. This is really what this pedal is all about. This is where you can really tailor your own fuzz tone and get around kind of some common problems with a lot of fuzz pedals in regards to how they sit in a mix. So a classic bass fuzz sound that almost everybody adores is a big scooped silicone fuzz. The problem with this is when you scoop out all the mids, you are completely lost in a mix setting. But I'll show you what it sounds like by itself first. So this is the silicone side, very scooped here with the filter. <laughs> Sounds big, rich, and fat, but yet again, the lack of mids makes it so that you can barely tell that it's on if there's a band playing with you. So to get around this problem of a lack of mids, I'm going to use the germanium side. So on the germanium side, I have the tone pot in the opposite direction. So I'm rolling off the high end, so I'm losing a little bit of that sizzle. The sizzle is coming from the silicone side. I'm using the germanium side for the mid range. So the germanium side by itself sounds like this. As a reminder, that scooped silicone side sounds like this. And then if I blend them together, I get this very rich, well-rounded fuzz tone. Course, the blend is not a set amount it is a variable knob so if you want more mids make it more germanium focused if you want it more scooped but not fully scooped have it lean more towards the silicone side moving on to the one control i have not discussed yet which is the phase toggle an incredibly cool control. The problem is that when you flick it to the up position, what it's doing essentially is allowing some phase canceling to happen, but a lot of those canceled frequencies 
are low end frequencies. So it's not the greatest for bass fuzz, but it is killer for some lead tones. So let me show what that sounds like. Phase in the down position, this is that big, rich, fat fuzz tone. <laughs> now phase in the up position. Now you'll hear some low end go away, but you'll hear this really cool kind of cross modulated fuzz going on here. So as you can hear, obviously I lose some low end, but hopefully you can hear, especially on those longer notes, you get this nice kind of envelope development that happens over time. I've gone over all the controls, so now it's time to dive into some specific sounds. And of course, we're going to blend with some other pedals because that's where stuff really gets fun. Starting with this low gain setting as shown with a pick. Sticking with the same low gain setting on the Gemini, I want to run my Boss OC2 Octaver into it because as with most Spaceman fuzzes, the Gemini sounds killer with octaves. Here's the OC2 by itself. And now into that same low gain setting on the Gemini. So now we're going to a slightly heavier gain, more silicone focused fuzz. Yet again, let's run some octave into that, except this time I'm running the OC2 with my dry signal, so it's more of a traditional octave sound like this. And now let's see how it interacts with this fuzz setting on the Gemini. Since we're here, let's make this quite a bit synthier. I've turned off that dry tone on the Octaver, so it's just that low sub signal. And now I've put on a Boss DC2W chorus after the Gemini. <laughs> All right, it's time to get big and nasty. So we've cranked the gain up quite a bit. I have gone back to kind of that hybrid fuzz sound where I have scooped on the silicone, boosted on the germanium. Let's hear what this thing can really do. So I do wanna show one more sound with the phase toggle in the up position. Now yet again, you are losing some low end, but what you're gaining is kind of an interesting texture and envelope to your fuzz tone. And this sounds particularly good when you're playing up high on the neck for a solo tone, especially if you're running it into some reverb or delay. So I'm gonna run this particular fuzz setting on the Gemini into my Strymon Volante to give it some air. 
Going back to this kind of blended fuzz tone, scooped on the left on the silicone side, a little bit of mid-range boost on the right with the germanium side. I'm running my Boss OC2 again with the dry signal in there, so it sounds like this. And now let's put that into the Gemini. So for my last sound with the Gemini, I want to use it as a basis to build a really fat synth bass tone. So as usual, I'm starting with my Boss OC2 by itself. I'm running that into this particular Gemini setting. And then I'm going to add that DC2W chorus back in there to give it a little bit of that detuning sound that you would get from a synthesizer. And finally, you can't really have a classic subtractive synth tone without a filter. And I have the lovely Moog MF-101 on my board, so now let's run all of that into a foot-controlled low-pass filter. So that is my demo of the Gemini 4 Dual Fuzz Generator from Spaceman FX. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe below. I'll be back more with more pedals and effects reviews as well as some performance videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.